I don't know if it's the Gulf or the Atlantic or whatever, but yes. I know Coco is just sad because they're not here. I give, I did give Coco a, a bone. She won't, the Atlantic, yeah. She won't eat it because she's nervous because of Cameron not here. But she'll be okay. She'll be fine. I gave her some calming gummies over the counter, so she'll be okay. But they are working at it, so I'm hoping that we get power soon. She is a rescue. Where's Cameron? Cameron's with his dad. When is the next storm? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He's with Aaron. Coco, come here, baby. Come here, honey. Thanks for the follow. I know. Come here, Coco. I know she... He wants the pack. I know. Is Coco okay? Yeah, she's fine. She's right by me. She's looking for her boy. Hey, you're okay. You're good. He's with his dad because Karen needed help with um, the shutters. Because Karen has no help. So Aaron and Cameron likes and I didn't want to leave Coco alone. So I decided to stay home with Coco so she'd be okay while they go and help Karen. And my power is not back on, no. When is the ne next hurricane coming? I don't know. I don't know. It was very nice of him to help. Mm-hmm. Very nice. I'm gonna be honest with you. The last couple, the last two days have been very tense. But I think after this, since the storm is over, I just feel like, I feel like I'm more calm. <laughs> I think Aaron's more calm and I think Cameron's more calm. So that I'm truly blessed because it's been a very stressful two days with the storm and the unexpected of what was gonna happen. How's your house? It's good. Thank you for your prayers. You guys got through a really scary situation altogether. We sure did. We sure did. My arm's okay. I'm trying to use it. Slowly but surely. Hello. Because I think Aaron has to go to work tomorrow, so I don't think any doctors are open right now. So I'm trying to slowly take my arm and use it because I have to go take care of Cameron and I need my right arm. Is the storm over? Yeah, it is. Thank you, Jesus. Karen will make it all better. <laughs> right? Mm. 
Is the tree gone? The cars are okay. Everything's okay right now, y'all. Well. Hold on, I'll be right back. That is tree is unreal. <laughs> yeah. When will you get your mane back? Um, my arm? I can show you. Um, I mean, it hurts like right in here. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the lighting, but there's a pain right in here that's bothering me. It's very, very swollen still. I can feel it. It's very puffy. But, uh, yeah, I don't know what I did to my arm. It just still hurts a little bit, but... I can, I was trying to move it earlier, try and like close it. And I can, I can do that now. So I've been trying to like, just move it very nice and slow. So that I can do now. But if I like move it a certain way, I what I can't do is I can't pick up I can't pick up um, um, like like heavy stuff. Like I can't do, I can do some things with it, but I can't do a lot with it. So I'm just slowly kind of using my arm when I can. And when it hurts, then I kind of say, okay, no, I can't do it. So if it is a pulled muscle, which I don't really think it is, She's streaming me. Hi, Allie. How are you? 
whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. Thanks for letting me know, chat. Anyway, so yeah, Allie, focus on your own mess of life. You know what? All like she wants to she wants to be you. There's nothing, there's nothing. I don't know why people want to be me. <sighs> I'm I'm not some kind of famous chick. I have a good life, but I don't have an amazing life. I mean, she's got a girl crush, maybe. It's not just Allie that she has a lot to learn. And here's the thing is that I don't really want to even focus my energy into arguing with her and talking about her. Because guess what? When she's a mom in a few months, she's going to wake up to reality. And, and, and that's where I'm going to sit back and I'm going to be like, honey, you don't even know what uh, what's about to come. You don't even know, my friend. And, and I'm going to sit back and I'm going to watch because I know what's going to happen. Allie, all I can say, I wish you the best. I wish you and your daughter, the best life. And hope to God that you're, you, you two are gonna be okay. Being a single mom is not easy. Mm -mm. It's all fun and games in the belly, but when that baby is in your arms and it's, it's the real thing, Mm. Mm -mm. You're going to have a lot to learn, my friend. Just letting you know. She has to learn. I am the bigger person and because at the end of the day, if I talk bad about Allie, if I talk bad about the, her kid, that's just, or if I, if I talk about her parenting, that just makes me the same thing that she is. My mom taught me better. I have more respect for, for people. <laughs> I mean, am I perfect? No, but I, I do try and stay in my own lane. I do, but when, when, you know, when, when someone else talks about your kid, it's hard not to interfere. It's hard not because they don't have a voice, you know what I'm saying? And so it's like, you try to like, shut up and just let them talk. I don't know. She'll be fine. She won't stream in you. Yeah. How? How's the what? She's not streaming me. That's good. That person is a troll. She's not streaming you. 
Mm, okay. That's good. Has everything this morning. It's good. Hey, stop. Don't do this on my live, please. And don't be mean to my other uh, supporters. Thank you. Get him, Gabby. It's the truth. I'm not going to allow that. When people make fun of other people, that's where I draw the line. I do not like that. I think it's wrong. My page is not for talking smack. My page is not about being mean to others. My page is about uplifting other mothers, spread positivity, sing, dance, love life, live for the best. That is what my life is all about. Besides that, nothing more. Yeah, on her life, but not while she is live, y'all will be lying, but okay. And even if she is on live talking about me, if she is streaming me, <laughs> the, <laughs> she can do whatever she wants. It's her platform. And you either can support her or not support her. You can make fun of me. You can, you can do whatever you want to do. No one's making you stay here. No one's making you support me. No one's making, do you know what I'm saying, dude? Shit. I'm just, I'm just, I don't even fucking know, dude. I have more things to worry about. I wish I had music on. I could dance and sing. Maybe do some clam slams. Hello. I like your lives. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Have you ate? I just had a donut. No clam slams. I think Target's open. That's what I heard. You hurt your arm again. No, I'm not gonna do a clam slam. I'm done with that for, in my eyes, you're the best. I'm here, so enjoy your lives. I hate when people hate on others. Yeah, me too. How am I charging my phone? Well, the neighbors have a generator, so I said if my phone goes out, can I charge my phone? And they said yes. I enjoy being here too. You can use your car as well. Yeah, I know. But they're working on the power right now. 
at the light. How's my arm? My arm hurts like a bitch, dude. Do you see this? So this is where I'm concerned on my arm. So right here, you see this area right here? That's where this is bothering me. And then if you see how right in here, it, if you look, I mean, I can't, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's, it's right here that's bothering me. And then right here, I don't know if you guys can see, it bothers me so bad. It's very swollen. No, it's very swollen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if there's any doctors open to even do an x-ray on my arm. Are you going to give back what people have for you? No one gave me anything besides one person who was very kind, who just had my cash app, who just sent me $37. And you know what? That was, that was a blessing in disguise. And that could help pay for some food that, you know, if we lose power and we have to buy food, but that's all that I got, nothing else. But I didn't ask for anything. I actually didn't want anything. I, my people told me, let me do it, let me do it. And I said, no, I, I, I really, because you know what I said? I said, no, I don't want anything because I'm gonna get a lot of hate. That's what I said. I said, if I do this, I'm gonna get blasted. So I didn't want the hate. I rather be, I rather have no money than to get blasted by all of you people. And that is just the, that's the truth. That is the damn fucking truth. So any other more questions would you like to ask me? Why can't you just stop? I'm not saying all of you guys, I'm saying the people that, the people that are doing this to me, they know, not my supporters. Gabby, they still blast that even though it's not true. Of course, because they have no life. No, they don't. They don't. Even though I shouldn't answer them back, something about me is when I see that and there, it's something that's not true and it's a lie, it, even though it shouldn't bother me, but it does because it's, even though it's easy to say, no, it's not true, it's not true. Yeah, it's not true. <sighs> Ah, whatever. Anyway, I get you, girl. You know. But it just feels like it's high school all over again. Like, you know, like, it just that's what it feels like. And it's just so annoying. How's your arm? 
I mean, it's bad because maybe to some, no response is a response. I don't know. You're the only one that can stop it. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Thanks for the follow. So I don't know. I mean, do you think I should go to the urgent care if it's open? While Aaron's home? I don't even know if it's open. No, but I think he goes to work tomorrow. Yeah, they, I don't know if they have any power. Unless I just call them and ask. An x-ray. I am not going to the hospital. I am not going to the hospital. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No way. No, yeah, no. The urgent care has to be my best bet. Cause just call your primary. Urgent cares have x-ray. How am I feeling? I've been taking ibuprofen. I know 75% of the, of the county is without power. I know. I know. Let me call, I, I don't know. I feel like I'll be okay. I, my worry is, because I can't really use my arm, is that if he does go to work, I'm, I'm without an arm. As in my, and like, I mean, I have my left arm, but like, it's hard. And so like, Aaron, while Aaron's here, even if I did something to my right arm, I would still be fucked. A pity party. Oh, give me a second. Hold on. I do have muscle rub. Come on, Coco. Come here. No.
Shut up. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm just going to have to deal with the pain until I can. Cause I called a couple of urgent cares. They're open, but no x-ray. So I'm just going to have to just suffer through the pain and just use my fucking arm. Listen, us mamas, we got to do what we got to do. That's all I can say. It's whatever at this point. I'll see what I can make. I'm hungry. Where's Aaron at Karen's? Uh, let's see what I can, what can I eat? Some chips? I think Aaron's here. I don't know. I'm with the neighbors. Gabby Tana makes this cream nods amazing for muscle inflammation or injury. Really? I feel guilty for eating because I want things for Cam. It helps. Helps with what? I think your comment got filtered. No, no power on. You're new here. Why is people mean to you? <laughs> Dude, I wish I had an answer for that. Ugh. Nice and warm. <laughs> I never had cold raviolis, but I'm about to try some right now. Let's see. It may not be that bad. It's like cold pizza. It's not that bad. That's good. Tastes weird, but... I was going to say, but I had no power. It's just raviolis. I never knew how to know how to cream. Mm. Last night, I forgot to tell you this. I threw up last night. I don't know why I threw up, but I felt so sick 
to my stomach and I puked. Oh, I felt so nauseous. Your nerves, probably all the stress. I just probably, dude, probably, probably. I felt better after I did throw up though. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest. Mm hmm There's all the stress. Probably. Because trust me, I had a lot of stress. It's like a bitch. Man. I just want to sit down. I can't do anything right now. Is the power back on? No. Mm -mm. I'm trying, but it hurts like a bitch. Is the face show up? Yep. Gabby. With the one follower. Don't say Gabby. Is the power back on? No. No. I already showed you my fucking arm. With no followers, the fuck? Stay in your own lane. If you missed it, you missed it. I ain't gotta show proof nothing for you motherfuckers. Ugh, man. Y'all want something, don't you? It was a storm over. I love Gabby's responses. I don't go over it, dude. Fuck. <laughs> um. It is over. I guess Chloe is gonna come back over here and play with Cameron. Mm -hmm. But excuse me. Hey, love, how are you? How am I? I just want to lay down. There's nothing that anyone can do right now. We just have to wait to put the power back on. I can't even play some music. But I, my Aaron told me that I'm, there's a couple of guys by the light <clears throat> that's fixing the, or trying to fix the power. What song do I want? I don't really know. Sorry guys, it's gonna be pretty boring. I have really no music, nothing to really do. And I have no arm to even try and uh, I fucking hate this. I wanna clean, I wanna organize, I wanna fold laundry and I can't. And I hate it, cause you know how I am. I want to clean. Do you know how, uh, do you wanna know how uh, frustrated I am about that? There, there's a, there's a full bowl, uh, there's, there's some, there's some laundry that needs to be folded. Can we just cut it off?
No, what you can do is fix it. Or you can help me with the laundry. That would be awesome. Because I'm going, you know how I am with cleaning. I'm going freaking nuts. And I'm ready to use my arm and hurt it more. Which I probably shouldn't do that. It's not the right answer. But, oh, it's so frustrating when you can't use your arm. I'm sorry. I'm venting right now because I have a lot of uh, frustration right now in my heart. And I need to get it out somehow. Because uh, I'm pushing my arm to there and I'm laying out here. That's how. Use it slowly. How? Is it broke? I don't even know. I don't even know how I did it. I mean, the only thing that I can think about is I was cleaning. I was, I was doing a lot yesterday, and I, 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 I don't know. I heard it pop. I heard something, and I thought like maybe like just like kind of like you know when you, you know how like when you like not dislocate it, but like uh, pop your. Ch or crack or something, you can pop it back in or something. And so I kind of like put my arm in the front of my, in the front of me and kind of snapped it back in. And I think, uh, yeah, what Karen, she's fine. My mom does have power. So if anything, I might have to go over to my mom's house and charge like the battery packs and stuff like that. I'm making you a hater 101 playlist on my Alexa. No, you're not. That's awesome. She's fine. Gabby's fine. We're all fine. We're all fine. There's a lot of people that are, are a lot worse than I am right now. So I can't complain. How far is your mom from you? Like 30 minutes. Like 30 minutes. So. What well, you can't handle. Okay, here. You want to see? How, you want to see? Uh, you want to see? Let's just see if I can do this. Okay. Let's just see if I can do this. Okay. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna fold laundry together. Okay. We're gonna try this together. Mm -mm. I can't. Oh, man. <laughs> Ugh. Come on, Gabby. There we go. There we go. Yeah, this fucking hurts, dude. Might take me five years. Are you laughing at me? It's not funny. Stop laughing at me. You want to come over here and help me? Shit. You can help me. What, my arm? Fucking hurts like a bitch. Shit. You have no fucking clue, dude. No clue. Well, yes, I'm using my arm. I have no choice. The fuck? Whoa. 
Who wants to play? Look at this. Isn't this cute? My mom thinks that she's in charge. Thanks for follow. Cute. I know, right? I know. I feel like now it's all wrinkly because of the, uh, of sitting it in the laundry. cannot dude oh. fuck me I fucking hate this shit I have a freaking sling I don't want to wear that shit I, I won't be able to do anything with it. <laughs> Knowing me, I, even when I'm injured, I, I'm being dead serious. F my chat. I cannot stand being in a, in a cast. I can't stand being in a sling. I don't like it. I, I hate it. And it's, I, I was in a boot and I took my damn fucking boot off and I walked on my fucking foot because I was like, you know what? I need to do stuff. I need to clean. If, even when I had a laparoscopic, I was like, nope, I'm good. I'm get me the fuck out of this chair. I'm, I'm getting my ass up and I'm moving. It's really true though. It's really true. I, I'm serious. You remember that? Is your wrist swollen? Yes, the whole thing of my freaking arm swollen. It it's terrible. It's it's terrible. It hurts like a bitch. I remember when you were in the boot, pure hell. You remember that too, right? Yeah. That's why, like, even, like, when I had my C-section, the doctors and the nurses were like, oh, oh, even my C-section, okay? The, after my C-section, even a few hours, my ass was up and walking. Did I fake that? Probably, right? Because that's what you guys always probably think that I fake stuff. And even Aaron said it. No, the nurse goes, Gabby, sit your ass down. I'm like, no, I need to get up. I cannot sit. My ADHD will not allow it. <laughs> I just can't. Even Aaron yells at me. Aaron's like, sit down. No, I'm good. Why well, am a tough ass bitch? I was sitting crisscross applesauce three minutes after having both of mine. Yes! Yes! But, excuse me. But. 
There's Aaron. Hey, what's up? Hey. Good. I'm good. How are you? Do you remember um, when you were moving out of Chicago and you really um, didn't want to help Pat? What's wrong with my arm? I don't know. Everyone's so sweet. 
I love when people are so kind. Just makes the world so much nicer and kinder. I'm not doing anything else. Ugh. Seriously, what is wrong with some people? How are you feeling? My arm just fucking hurts. Literally. What's up? Yeah, I know. Hi. No, probably loving it. These people probably love that. They probably wish that I would, we were flooded. They probably wish that we were dead because that's what I got text messages sent out to me. Mm -hmm. um, everyone told me to RIP myself. Oh yeah. You should really see the messages that I got. Horrible. Oh yeah, my entire family. Piece of shit mom. Hope all of you die. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. No one really knows. Mm-mm. No one really knows what the fuck I got. I did show people messages about what people have said. They've seen it. And that's why they're not, they're, that's why they're doing this. They don't give a shit about my family. They don't give a shit about me. But my supporters do, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay, I'm gonna show you my cash app. I'm gonna show you my cash app. It has $37 from it. That's how much money I have. So let me go ahead and show you, okay? So yesterday, when I, and I said this to many people that I only have $37 from that one person that sent me money. This is how much I have. What does that tell you? $37. That's all that I have from that one person. Fine, I'll show, that's fine. You wanna see Aaron? Aaron, if you're listening to me, come home and show me your cash app. No, but I'm not lying. I literally told you $37. So, so stop. I don't get it, dude. I, I, I just don't. <laughs> the fuck, dude? The, 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 the mm. No, these people are outrageous. We believe you. I know, but I, I don't, I come with receipts, dude. You want to show the history? Fine, I'll show the history.
Hold on, give me a second. Okay, so here's Aaron's account, okay? There's there's Aaron's account, $1.77 account. And here we go. This was, I know it's not much, okay, $37, okay? Then someone sent me money for Cam on Saturday when we went to the whatever. Then it says, not enough cash. And that says, not enough cash, not enough cash. Is there anything else that I can, like, do you want to see more? What else do you want from me? Are you done now? Are you fucking done? Because I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm not going to show any. I, no, I'm not doing this. I, I sh I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. No, because you guys just want information. You guys are just, this is a bait game. This is a fucking bait game and I'm not going to do more. I'm, I'm just, I'm done. I, I can't. I just, I, I, I have to drop this, dude. Because I feel like this is just a fucking bait game, dude. I only sent out my cash app from yesterday, not PayPal. I understand. I know it's none of their business. That's why I'm not going to give them what they want. I'm going to stop. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to ignore them. Okay. Fine. I'm done. Thanks, chat. You're welcome. Hey girl, hey. What is? What's up? Nice to see your beautiful face. I'm glad everybody's safe and sound. Yes, thank you so much. But I just want to say, honey, you can, you you owe nobody, and it, it's it's none of my business. But I, I swear, I wish I was a mod. Um, you owe nobody an explanation if you have thirty seven cents or thirty seven freaking dollars or a hundred dollars. Or one dollar. From what I've been seeing on the TikTok today, mm -hmm. somebody's just looking for some for some juice. You know what I'm talking about? They are. We've talked about this before. They have no content, so they make your life their content. Yeah, content. And I, I, it, 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 I'm sitting here, and I, I hate saying it. I got a heating pad wrapped around my hip, but. They see, they see you're down and they want to doubt that. It's none of their goddamn business what happened to your arm. People have, should have... I, I, do, I do think that people are concerned. I mean, it's not... I mean, because, I mean, the arm thing, I don't think it really bothers me. Because, like, you know, I the did... Whole, the whole me. thing is they, they doubt everything you say and do. And I, we've, I've told you this yeah. before. It's horrible, sweetheart. Yeah. It is. Uh, I know. And I'm not going to mention any names, but somebody is just over there, just fucking, pardon my French TikTok, just draining everything you say and going back and forth. And I'm like, really? And I'm going to tell you this right now. And everybody in the chat, you can hate me, you can block me, you can report me. But karma will come for people. Yeah. I've seen it happen. That is true. I've, I've seen it happen. I, um... I'm on my second marriage now with my first marriage, total domestic violence situation to where I ended up hating his whole family. So first husband is still alive. 
His sister has Alzheimer's, and I feel bad for her. She doesn't know her butt from the hole in the ground. The one brother died from cancer that wanted to doubt my whole situation with his brother, and they never saw my children or whatever. And then his older brother fell off the roof. So tell me karma was not coming and still coming hard. Oh, that, well, it is true. At, at this time where Flo the whole state of Florida is, and you can't really say is on fire because that's just totally wrong, but there's so many people suffering and without, you're still without power and people don't care. No, All these people are looking for is like some juice. I've seen the names in here and I've seen them over there. So they're just over here going, ooh, and running back. Ooh, and running back. I know. I mean, I do have a lot of supporters, though. I know you do, sweetheart. And I see that. And I, I want to commend everybody that does care about Gabby. Thank you, team. Because... I mean, and I say it all the time, and I don't know who stole it from me, but kindness is free. Yes, it is. And people want to say it's a choice. Yeah, it's a choice of being kind or being hateful. So what do you want to be? Do you want to be kind to people and get good coming back to you? Or do you want to be hateful and having that goddamn karma train coming up your ass? If you can just, like, not say the gd that's the i know i shouldn't I, i'm okay, sorry okay that's okay that's okay it's okay i still love you but yeah just you're good and when i heard about you hurting your arm i was because i ended up getting off TikTok last night i just i have to shut the phone off at a, at, at a certain time mm -hmm. um when i heard that you hurt your arm and i was like oh lord <laughs> i'm fucking coming for her today <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't, I don't know. But I just wanted to jump in and say that because I just, I, if if I was sitting in your seat, I wouldn't show them Jack do. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean, I'm nobody to tell you what to do. I'm only a, a freaking mom of nine, and I try to advise my older children what to do when they have situations like this, and I tell them ain't none of their business. I know. Just like this person saying, uh, Marley, life is too short to be ugly. Exactly right. It is. Because if nobody could, if nobody lives in Florida and can imagine what these people went through last night, like I follow this other young lady, she's close to my age, and she said that her window shook for hours. Yep. I saw some stuff too. And, you know, like today, let's just all like chill the hell out. You know, yeah, like I had a rough day yesterday with all the stress. You look, you look like you've been through the freaking mill, honey. I mean, you're still beautiful. No, I, I look rough. And then I just, I just well, want to. Pain will do that to you. And so will stress. Oh, I threw up last night. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. It's not a name change. This is just my other account that I'd never really use. I, I go back on my other main account on um, October 15th. Yeah, because stress isn't good for you at all. No, it's really I'm not. not. I mean, I'm not one to talk because I'm, I'm going through some shit myself. But, yeah. um... Yeah, that's life. Life sends us through a bunch of challenges. I'm charging my phone right now. That's why I have my phone on the table. Um, but here, I can show you my painting. Hold on. Let me show you. You gotta move that fly trap. Oh, girl. <laughs> well, at least you have that, you know, since there's no power, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I have to use my other hand, so it's not really working too. It's not working too, too good for me. But I'm trying. Someone's saying that someone is using your account. It's they take my pictures. It's a copycat. It's not my real account. Yeah, that's how much they love you, girl. I know they want to be they like wouldn't, you. they wouldn't be having a good day if your name wasn't coming out of their mouth. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and I you know agree. what? You know what gets me the most, Miss Gabby? 
Wow. Is when people are talking about you and your sister, people are throwing these people gifts. Like, wow. <laughs> yep. I just wanted to hop in because I didn't know if you would see it. Just don't, just don't give them too much information, sweetheart, because they're watching you like a big hawk today. And now I'm probably going to be busted, and I'm probably blocked if I try to hop over there. Be no secret. It's okay. Somebody will probably tell on me. No, I love, and I do appreciate your support. You've been a supporter for a long time. And oh yeah, I remember y'all from back when you were in the apartment, and the mold made y'all sick, and nobody wanted to believe that. And then you hurt yourself, and you were in the boot, and y'all were in the hotel, and y'all were trying to fly out. I was like, Lord Jesus, give this girl the power. Give me a break. And look, I and look do at that you day. now. And look how far Cameron's come. And I've said that a million times every time I hop in the box. Amen. Amen. Running out there with his little friends and stuff. That it gives me chills just talking about it. I well, I'm not going I don't know how to turn the camera on, but my the, the hair on my arm standing up. Mm-hmm. I'm so happy for your little boy. Thank you. Me too. I think it was a good move. I mean, you know, Florida has the weather, but everybody has the weather. I you know, I live in Maryland. In 2017, we had 40 inch, 47 inches of snow. Try opening your front door to that. <laughs> right. And I, I live in a on a private lane and a private driveway, so I don't have that plow mm -hmm. coming up to save me. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, because I think I saw um, somebody ask a question, would you rather live where you are now or back where you were? So you like the cold weather, you like the warm weather. Right. I like the warm weather, to be honest with you. So do I, because now in Maryland, today are high. I live in western Maryland in the mountains, up by where all, everybody goes skiing and all. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, miss, I miss the snow, though, I'm not going to lie. There we go, that's better. I, I when my pool closes, I think I've told you before I have an in ground pool. And once the pool closes and then it's like, oh my god, my whole pool area is closed and it's like, oh Christ, am I gonna get depressed now over this? Right. Sorry, my phone's not charging. Okay, there girl, I start paying that tannin salon bill. I pay sixty dollars a month. Right. I have to. Yeah. I, I need that vitamin D. We all need that vitamin D. Yes. I but I'm I'm glad you saved, sweetheart. But I just wanted to jump in and say that don't don't give everything to them because they're gonna run with it today. They ain't got nothing better to do. I hear you, sister. They don't have anything better to do. They just suck ass. You know, my my content. Anybody can look at it. I don't ever use anybody from my family, my grandchildren, my children, or anything. I think it's just like to maybe to empower women. I don't know. I've been around a long time, but. For people to actually use somebody else's content to make their, what do you call it, like page or whatever. I just, I don't understand all that. That's got to take a lot of work. That is true. Period. It is true. Nope, you're not wrong. I think I'm seeing some of these comments. I think Gabby said she might, now I'm not going to speak for her, but she might go to her mom's to charge everything up if power doesn't come back. Right, Gabby? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at least someone has power that I could drive over there and just charge my, my battery packs. I really have to. But we have a, we have two full battery packs. Um, oh, good. My car is fully charged, and we have a um, jump starter. Oh, cool. That's cool. Oh, and my neighbor has a generator. Oh, the gen we have one. That's a lifesaver. Yeah, and I asked if I, if I needed, like, an emergency, then I can go over there and charge my phone, and he said, yeah, that's fine. Oh, that was so nice of your neighbor to do that. Now mm -hmm. I'm trying to think. I think... I had all nine children living at home when I lived in Southern Maryland. Yeah. So there's 11 people in one house with the parents, right? My husband and myself. They had a freak tornado go through where I lived in Clinton, Maryland and go behind the high school 
where my older kids went to school because I homeschooled the younger ones. But anyhow, lost power for almost a week. That's awful. Oh, girl. Devastating. I was putting kids in bathtubs and everything because I had babies, right? But my husband, being a steam fitter welder, had a small generator on his truck at the time. So I was at least able to keep my refrigerator cold and keep, girl, you know, you had to have that front room TV on or I'd have been, I wouldn't be here today talking. <laughs> Dude, it's rough. It is. It just, just to be without power is like, it's, it's like you just, it's like, what the hell, you know, cause there's nothing you can't, you, and, and by just reaction, you always want to flip the light switch. Mm -hmm. We've been without yeah, power here. A few, few times. Uh, in uh, uh, October, I think, and I want to say 2018 or so, my husband had a uh, shoulder surgery done, and we lost power, and it was cold. Thank God we have a wood stove, but we had generator. We had nothing. We, we had our flashlights, and of course, I was prepared because I have a son that's a uh, type 1 diabetic. So, you know, you try to keep the ice and everything, but when you don't have electricity, that's one thing. But when you have flooding and everything, like all these other people have, it's, it's bad. I've seen a lot of TikToks today where people actually have like water standing. Mm-hmm. I know. That's why I'm blessed. And I saw the, right. And I saw these, I call them kids cause I'm 63, but they, they might've been teenagers this morning running TikToks. Now they probably had almost 3,000 people in their live, but the water was up to their waist and they're walking it in the street. And I'm thinking, aren't they thinking about like alligators or anything? Yeah, that's what I thought. Too. Like, what? <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I thought about too. I'm like, there's probably alligators in there. Right. So did you see that video? What video? Well, it was a, it was a live running with these as I call them, kids just standing in the street, and they're saying, we'll stay here as long as y'all are in here, and, and throwing gifts, and the guy's saying, you know, throw a galaxy, and I'm thinking, you need to get out that water, where you start getting leeches yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's contaminated. It's not really that good. Exactly. Yeah. Because I was watching the Weather Channel last night. I, I was probably before um, 9 o'clock. And, you know, Jim Cantor, he's in Florida. But he was in a parking garage, and the power had went out. But he was saying that he could smell, and they were on the fourth, like, level, I guess you want to call it, of the parking garage. And he said he could smell some type of fuel. Didn't know if it was diesel or what. So, yeah. it's That's not a smart move to be in water like that. Especially if you have open cuts. Okay. Yeah, when my, my children up here, they do they do a lot of that river rafting or whatever it's called when you go in the tubes and you go down the creek and the river. They do that up here. And uh, one young lady made the news because she didn't realize it and she had a cut on her like higher ankle, you know, maybe her shin when she went. Well, she ended up almost having that flesh eating disease. She ended up getting, I guess you call it like staph infection. The infection was eating her skin away. I was like, oh, my Lord. Oh, and somebody else is saying electrocution, I guess. Being in the water and you don't know if the water is active or not. Exactly. Crazy. Very crazy. Alrighty, girl. Well, I guess I'll let you go. Do you know me? I'm a, I'm that nosy, I'm that nosy mama, and I just you know I just know that you're being watched, and I know they know me. Now. I know I'm being watched. Just a lot. I got I got I got a couple backups myself though. So you know we know the slick. <laughs> my mom's like, hey, how's your arm? Daddy might hit me. I got a whole bag of toys. Oh, hi, Chloe. Oh, you got a flashlight. Yeah. Okay, okay, I have the dog here. Can you close the door, please? Oh. What's this for? Speaker. Bluetooth? Yes. Because the cat. Yeah. Hold on, I gotta ask. My mom's texting me. I'll be right back, guys. I'll, 
I'll let you go, sweetheart. I know you're busy. I hear the baby. I call him a baby, but my okay. baby's 27. He'll always be a baby. But uh, okay. Ah. okay, that's fine. I love you, sweetheart, and I hope your arm feels better. Take care. Oh, is Aaron looking at it now? Uh, look at shoes. Mommy. Look at shoes. Mommy. Yeah. Mommy. Wow. See? Mommy. 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 I see that. It's just, don't we have a shoe? Yeah, be, care be careful, sweetheart. Don't be trying to lift anything heavy because if you have injured yourself, you don't want to make it worse. No, I know. Is able to take the plate room? Oh, Mommy. I didn't push me. No, I didn't. What? Well, no, I pushed me. Oh, sorry. I didn't want to do that to you. Look, I can do this. Oh, come stop. Come stop. I can do this. It's from my little pony. What? What's on this one, there? We got um, a mommy oh, and a baby. And he got a movie, like she got a movie. And he got a little watering can, like ocean. And he got another thing, unicorn. It goes back and forth. Got At least you, Heather. I appreciate here. that. I'm over here looking at this nasty comment from, I guess it's a troll. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But um, I'm going to drop out now because I think she has to text her mom about a few things. But. I appreciate y'all listening to me, and like I always say, kindness is free because you never know when somebody we're going to be in the same boat that somebody else is in. So never say never. And I love y'all. Love you too, Gabby. And I'm praying for you to get your power back on, sweetheart. Mommy, you can keep this bag. What's up? What? You can? That's very sweet. What the love? Oh, wow. It just does look nice. Oh, you want in your hair? Okay. This is so cute. That's for snacks. You guys want to go outside? We were just outside. Oh, you were? Yeah, it's hot. It is hot, isn't it? Are we? Mm. Uh. That's it? Yeah. Uh. Mama. What are you doing? Oh. Come here. Come here. Can I have a hug? Get a flashlight. You get a flashlight. Whoa! You know what we could do when it's nighttime? We can take all of our flashlights and we can we can tell uh, stories. What is this? Baby? That is a kangaroo. Um, where uh, you got to put um some donuts in his mouth and he eats them. Where's the donuts? Uh, there's somewhere in the room. I want to try this. Uh -oh. I know, honey. The, pa the, the There's no power. Are you hungry?
Are you hungry? And Gabby, I don't think, I don't really, I don't never know, dude. Oh my God. Urgent cares don't have any x-rays, so what are they gonna do for me? Honestly, what? Just tell me to rest it? Probably. What? You guys cannot, what do you guys wanna do? My arm is killing me. There's nothing, I mean, like, even, like, even if I did break it, even if I did pull a tendon, if I did, even if I did any of those things, what, they're gonna, I, I could go to Target and, and buy a sling and buy a little ace bandage and put it on my arm and call it a done deal. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Because then they're gonna tell me to go to an orthopedic and blah, 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 specialist, and you gotta get an MRI if it's a tendon or a ligament, and then blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you, that's why I really just don't wanna go. I don't wanna have to go through all of that. It is clay. Everything is in that bin right there, not the toy bin, but the, yeah, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't want to sit in the ER for 10 hours because, like, they can't cast it. They can't do anything. They can't. They're just going to support it and send me to an orthopedic. No, 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 no. You're going to break this. What? that. Okay, there's popsicles in there. Okay, that's cool. Urgent there is gonna be full from my hurricane. Well, that too. I thought it was a bite. No, it's not a bite. This is definitely not a bite. I could have told you that yesterday. It's something, but I don't know what it is. My mom thinks I should go in because I show her my arm and she's like, Yeah, that's swollen. I was like, yeah, mom, I know that. <sighs> we have light in here, thank God. And I called in hurricane, thank God. And I called in hurricane, they don't have any x-rays right now either because of the storm.
Listen, guys, I'm going to go call my mom really second, okay? I'm going to get off here. Going to take a while before the power comes back on. Yeah, I know. But I'm going to go um, so I just don't get more hate than I already do right now. So I'll be back on if I really want to. But right now, I'm just going to take a moment to be with my mom and family. Okay? And I will talk to you guys later.